We begin tonight with a broad campaign to switch more people from prisons to jobs. This afternoon at the State House, advocates and officials call for passing measures that would cut back on mandatory sentencing for nonviolent drug offenders. Groups also want to increase spending on programs to help more ex offenders find jobs. Did you know that over 60% of the people involved in the justice system will return to jail within three years? This means our justice system makes crime more likely, not less. We talk about how people are being cast aside, treated as if they are, have no worth anymore. We're talking about creating an opportunity for people to be given a way to take care of their self not wasting money on building more prisons and we want to create opportunities. Blacks today make up 8% of the state's population and as you will hear from others and 28% of the prison population. Latinos make up 10% of the total state's population and account for 26% of the inmates. Justice should be blind but there is no denying that complexion does still matter today in incarceration. There's mass incarceration going on right now in Massachusetts. Too many people are in jail, um, people that are nonviolent drug offenders, um, people that need help, that need access to jobs, that want to do better, um, that are in prisons and they don't need to be, and it's devastating to the community. It's something that we can't afford and we need to be creating jobs for people so that they have pathways out of poverty. This is not about cutting corners or scrimping on essential functions of our criminal justice system. It's about investing our resources, our public resources, responsibly on those sentences and programs that are proportionate to the crime, that prevent crime where we know we can, and that ensure our neighborhoods are well served when ex-offenders return to them.